I have played one Zelda game in my entire life, and I didn't really get that far of it. It was Zelda, the Oracle of Ages. It was heavily puzzle-based, and I was a stupid five-year-old. So I really haven't seen any Zelda lore whatsoever. So today, we're gonna learn all about the Zelda timeline and see how convoluted and silly it really is. I've been told by many people on Twitter.com that the Zelda timeline is basically just a complete nonsense that they made up as it goes along. But we're gonna see if it's actually true. Could you really put it together. What is there to be gleaned from this? Let's see what we can find out. Even with the help of Nintendo's Hyrule Historia, understand- Oh, so they made an actual book that explains the timeline? Dude, there's no shot. They made this up as they went Getting along, didn't they? Is a heroic quest all on its own. So we're gonna dig into the most up-to-date Zelda timeline humanly possible. Nintendo swapped some things around in August 2018, and a few games were released after the Historia. But we got you. Thousands okay. of years before Ocarina of Time creation. The world was created out of chaos by three goddesses, Din, Nehru, right. and Ferore. Their work done, the three goddesses up and leave. But for reasons unknown, they leave the Triforce with the goddess Hylia. Here's some Triforce 101. So Anyone there's, wait, there's four? There's four goddesses. Touches the Triforce will have their wish come true, as long as they okay. have a balance of the three virtues, power, wisdom, and courage. If the would-be possessor doesn't have this balance, the Triforce splits apart, leaving the finder with whichever piece that seems a little bit convoluted. What, what dictates wisdom? Like, it, am I wise if I can like put to take apart and put together a car? Do you have to do like an IQ test? Do I have to have a higher IQ than Ben Shapiro to be able to use the Triforce? Most embody. Two random individuals are chosen by the goddesses to possess the other two pieces. The Triforce's power is much greater if all three pieces are united. Oh, and it doesn't distinguish between good and evil. Immediately thereafter, era of the goddess Hylia. After a while, the Demon King, Demise, arises and wants the Triforce to rule the world. He gathers a God demon damn those army demon and kings. an epic battle against Hylia to steal the Triforce. In order to ensure their survival, Hylia gathers the remaining humans and the Triforce onto some land that she sends into the sky. This land nice. would become known appropriately as Skyloft. Hylia- Wait, the, the remaining humans? I'm sorry, that- Skyloft area? <laughs> this looks like it could house maybe like 50 guys. There are not many humans left, no, apparently. Appropriately, as Skyloft, Hylia and the remaining surface tribes defeat Demise and seal him away in the temple on the Isle of the Goddess. However, nice. Good job. the seal isn't strong, and the Triforce can't be used by a goddess, which feels like a major oversight. Hylia entrusts Impa of the Sheikah tribe with- There's a lot of goddesses tribes, running around on this. A role that would be passed down through Sheikah generations. Hylia is reborn as a human named Zelda. Decades oh! Oh, so goddess gets reborn. Goddess is Zelda now. Goddess is not a goddess anymore. Goddess is a human. Okay, that makes sense. Sky era, Skyward Sword. Gen wait, 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 decades, wait. She was reborn and then decades later? Like, we're we talking like Zelda's like 20 years old now? Generations pass and Skyloft thrives. On the 25th anniversary of their sweet Knight Academy, Link passes a big test, but also Zelda is dragged to the surface by the demon lord Girahim, a follower oh, of man. Demise who's been scattering demons across the surface. Link is visited by the spirit of the goddess sword, Fi, who informs- Dude, there's so many goddesses in this. Jeez, there's that he's all over the place. Hero. Impa, meanwhile, helps out Zelda. Then there's a whole story involving purifying, time jumping from the original Temple of Time, and- Oh next. no, not time travel. That's not gonna make the timeline easier to understand. Eventually, Link kills Demise, but not nice. before the Demon King lays a curse. A never-ending cycle where the Demon King would be reincarnated with a thirst to take over the world, and a special hatred for those with the blood of the goddess and the spirit of the hero. Link- Oh, so that's how you justify making more games. Cause the Demon King put a curse and it's like, uh, I curse you to be in another game and another one. And until we stop making money on it. it Absorbs demise into the Master Sword and leaves the Master Sword in a pedestal in the sealed temple. Zelda. Whoa, well, hey, so you absorb a demon king into a sword and you're like, ah, I'm just gonna fucking leave it here in a, in a temple, I guess. Nah, no, no one will find it, it's probably fine. to the surface to protect the Triforce. Era of Chaos. The surface becomes known as Hyrule. Many years of peace okay. go by, but legends of the power of the Triforce eventually incite an era of chaos and violence. To protect the Triforce, the Sage of Light, Raru, makes himself the guardian of the Light Temple in the Sacred Realm and places the Triforce inside it. Raru seals the realm off from Hyrule, placing the only entrance in a new Temple of Time, which he built- Okay, there is a lot of phrases coming through here, like sacred temples and the Light of Ruins and all of this. There's a lot going on, I'm trying to take it in. It's little- a little convoluted, but you know what? It's, I'm trying to take all this stuff in in 25 minutes, and it's a massive game series, so I'm not going to be able to get everything in this all at once. Let's try my best, though. The sealed temple. He closes off the master sword behind the door of time and scatters the keys, the three spiritual stones. We just like leaving the master sword lying around in places, don't we? 
Like, we can't kind of keep it in a place where people would defend it. It's just like, fuck it, we'll just like leave it in an area, oh, I guess. Raru's intricate one-man plan works. Zelda's descendants nice. establish the kingdom of Hyrule and declare themselves the royal family. Building Zelda's descendants, okay. So the original Zelda had kids, grew old, presumably passed away. And then there's, I guess, another individual called Zelda that is descended from the original Zelda, right? castle around the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce. Force era, okay. diminished cap. Hyrule is suddenly overwhelmed by evil. But lo, oh, the no. descends from the sky and gives the hero of man a Picori blade and the light force. And yes, the force has basically the same meaning as in Star Wars. The hero seals all the baddies in the- Which makes sense now that I'm thinking of the descendants being called Zelda because, of course, the curse would ensure that that would happen. Bound chest, closed tight with the blade. Zelda internalizes the light force. Watch for the Zelda light motif from now on. 100 years later, a shady mage named Vati breaks the Picori blade and opens the chest, hoping to find the light force. Instead, he releases a bunch of evil and turns Zelda to stone. Zelda's- Oh, come on, dude. That's not pog stone at all. The curse can only be broken with the Picori blade, and the blade can only be fixed by the Picori, and the Picori can only be seen by children. So Smith, the blacksmith, volunteers his young apprentice, Link. While Vati has Hyrule under- That seems incredibly convoluted to fix this blade. It's like you have to say, you have to send a five-year-old. There's no adults. No, 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 no. Has to be a five-year-old. Link eventually brings the four elements and a fixed Picori blade to a secret elemental sanctuary in Hyrule Castle. This restores the legendary four sword, which can split one warrior into four. With the help of his oh, sweet nice. new sword and a convenient Convenient wishing cap, Link vanquishes Vati, and the destruction of Hyrule is undone. One generation hey. later, four swords. Vati suddenly reappears, but with no memory of the Light Force ordeal. He overtakes the Palace of Winds and does- So this Vati guy, I guess the evil person that is reincarnated to want to do bad things, this is all coming from this Demon King originally. So even if there is, like, it's not Ganondorf every single time, not him being reincarnated, but there's always going to be a Zelda, there's always going to be a Link, and there's always going to be a bad guy of some kind. Himself, the Wind Mage, a hero due to so that's why these evil the entities come and from. Defeats Vati, sealing him in the sword and enshrining him in the elemental sanctuary. Several the Vati is just a reincarnation of this demon Four king. Four generations okay, pass before the seal begins to weaken. Zelda and Link go in for a checkup one day to find it broken. In a cartoon, oh no! <laughs> she just got yoinked. That's funny. The Palace of Winds to become his bride. Link is instructed by fairies to un sheath the four sword and split into four different links upon doing so. The foursome then hones their skills, travels to the Palace of Winds, and defeats Vati. Vati is sealed in the four sword, which is returned to its pedestal. Link- This clearly doesn't work. Guys, I know it's a curse. There must be some way to break the curse, first off. But this clear- this sealing the evil in swords thing, it's been five minutes. We've se sealed like seven different evils inside of swords and it never works. <laughs> one person, once again. The era of the hero of time, Ocarina of Time. For okay, this is big eras, news. Hyrule descends into civil war. Why? We don't oh, know. Man. You start to wonder whether Nintendo is leaving certain things open on purpose. In the midst of this conflict, a woman flees to the Forbidden Forest and with her dying breath, entrusts her baby to the Deku Tree to raise the child of a Kokiri. The <laughs> child's name? Wait, you entrusted it to a tree? Tingle! Just kidding. It was oh. Link. The war finally <gasps> ends shortly thereafter. About 10 years later, Zelda and Link meet and discover that Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudo, faked his loyalty to the king and is after the Triforce. They gather oh, all no. the spiritual stones. So this is the first instance of Ganondorf then, I imagine. Before Ganondorf does. But oops, Ganondorf finds out and invades the castle, forcing Zelda to flee. Link runs to the Temple of Time and opens the door of time with the Ocarina of Time that Zelda chucked at him. He lifts the Master Sword from the pedestal OG Link placed in it years ago, which opens the Sacred Realm. But because he's too young- Oh, so this is the original Master Sword that another version of Link put in there. And now the descendant of that is returning to get it, but there was evil sealed inside of it, but then the evil actually escaped, maybe? ...to be the hero maybe. of time, Link enters a seven-year nap in the Temple of Light. He left... He sleeps for seven years, bro. You're gonna feel... Your neck cricks after that are gonna be insane, the mate. sacred realm wide open for Ganondorf, who tries to snag the full Triforce, but merely retains the Triforce of power. He's still able to conquer Hyrule and corrupt the sacred realm and the temples of the sages, making Link's job significantly harder when he finally wakes up. But wake up 
he does. He awakens the seven. So he wakes up and everything's conquered by Ganondorf and everything's pretty bad. This kind of sounds like the Breath of the Wild story, actually. Stages two. Ganondorf kidnaps Zelda and Link heads to Ganon's castle to do battle o'clock. A volatile situation, given that Zelda has the Triforce of Wisdom and Link now possesses the Triforce of Courage. Hey oh, so if Link loses... Ganondorf's gonna get all those little Triforce particles and be like, oh, super powerful, gonna have all my wishes granted, eh? Hey, listen, we've reached the critical juncture of the Zelda timeline. From here, oh. it splits into three distinct timelines. Three time? Oh, shit, okay. Based on the outcome of this battle and time-traveling shenanigans. Let's- Oh, okay, so this is this is big news, all right. With what we see happen in Ocarina. Link wins the one-on-one -on -one battle, but nice. Ganondorf uses the last of his Triforce power to transform into Demon King Ganon. Zelda and Link beat the beast, and the Seven Sages seal a once again human Ganondorf in the Sacred Realm, along with the Triforce of power he possesses. Peace is- Ah, you should have really scraped off that Triforce first before you before you sure. seal him away. Zelda Get the fucking Triforce! You got wishes and shit, man! Come on! feels guilty that she donked up the whole spiritual stones ordeal and caused Link to lose seven years of his life. So, she plays the Ocarina of Time and sends Link back to relive his childhood. This creates two timelines, the child era and the adult era. The child okay. era stems from Link's actions after he's sent back in time. The adult era is a continuation from when Zelda sends Link back to his childhood. The Twilight Realm and the legacy of the- That creates diverging timelines because in theory, he goes back to being a child and then he lives up until he is that age again and then gets sent back in time. Oh, so that's why you have to have multiple timelines because otherwise it's an endless loop of him growing up and getting sent back in time. It creates diverging paths because now there is an instance where the adult timeline, there is no, there is no link. There is no link to the adult timeline? The hero, child era, era of the hero of time, child era, ocarina of time, Majora's Mask. Immediately upon returning to his original time, Link restores the master sword to its realm ceiling pedestal and warns Zelda of the future's dangers. Zelda gives Link the ocarina and tells him to get the F out. You know, so Ganondorf can't open the door of time with the ocarina. Also, worth noting that Ocarina's seven sages don't awaken in this timeline. Link takes his horse, Epona, and sets off. Months later, he finds himself in a mysterious forest that leads him into a parallel world, Termina. Unfortunately- What? There's just dimensional shifting shenanigans going on now? Some weird forest is like, oh, you're in another world now. Well, Termina's going through a tough time. This imp, Skull Kid, has the super powerful Majora's Mask and is going to cause the world's scariest moon to crash into the earth. Link only Jesus Christ, he just rolled up into Armageddon land? Dude, this is, I'm gonna be honest, this is not Link's problem. He gets like dimension shifted into this planet, like it's not his planet, it's not his problem, he just dealt with Ganondorf. Yeah, Come on, what's going on? Wait, is there even a Zelda in this one? Skull Kid ...and prevent the apocalypse. Using the Ocarina of Time and an assortment of masks, Link revives four guardian giants and beats both Skull Kid and Majora's Mask itself. With no more scary moon breathing down their necks, the people of Termina have a nice festival. Link moves- Okay, that just feels Feels like filler. <laughs> that just feels like a filler episode, but like a really good filler episode because people really like it. But it just has no overall effect on the timeline or like the story whatsoever. Oh, apparently, to settle in Hyrule and become depressed that no one remembers him as a hero. One hundred years later, Twilight Era, Twilight Princess. Finally, Ganondorf is due to be executed. However, Yay! because Link returned from the future with his Triforce of Courage, the Triforce in this timeline dutifully split and gave Ganondorf the Triforce of Power. But because uh -oh. this Ganondorf never touched Triforce himself, he's not as powerful. In any case, the ancient sages find they can't kill Ganondorf because of that darn Triforce piece. So- Damn, they just, they really ran him through as well. Gee, they did try. I will say, they actually gave it a good effort. There's a lot of situations in a lot of games where they'll try and kill the bad guy, but then not actually kill him or like let him go. They, they give it a good effort. He's got a sword like straight the fuck through. the tables and kills one of the sages instead. The remaining sages send him off to the Twilight Zone. Or, I mean, Twilight Realm. There, Ganondorf okay. makes a new buddy, Xan, and they scheme to turn the Light World and Twilight Realm into a single dark world. They curse Midna, the Twilight Princess, and invade a woeful, unprepared Hyrule. Xan corners Zelda and forces her to surrender to protect the kingdom from war. To oppose Xan, oh, no. Midna finds a swell gathered in Ordon Village named Link, a direct ancestor of the Hero of Time. This new Link is transformed into a wolf when he 
Oh, it's the furry episode. He enters the twilight, but that's kind of cool, right? Link restores yeah, sunlight wh and finds the Master Sword <laughs> in the Sacred Grove. The Temple of Time is just a ruin in the forest. Interestingly, the Kokiri make no appearance. We're led to believe they've died out. In the end, oh, no. Link defeats Ganondorf and the Triforce of Power ditches him. Meaning, Ganondorf actually dies. Midnus curses nice, Lithium good, and finally, yes. To the twilight realm. Smash I like this timeline. They killed him. In the Mirror of Twilight, so the two realities could mingle no more. Several hundred- But I mean, it doesn't really matter that they killed him because due to the curse, it, there's just going to be another bad guy in the future, years right? Later, era of Shadow. Four Several hundred years later. Okay. Relations between Hyrule and the Gerudo finally become friendly, but then hey. a new reincarnation of Ganondorf is born with all oh, come the memories on. and thoughts of the previous one. Yeah, I know. New Dorf. I'm going to be honest. If you have a child and you name it Ganondorf after what happened in the past, then you're just asking for it. Like, what would you do that for? He wants to resurrect Vati, who's been chilling inside the Four Sword this whole no, time. No, no, don't so bring Vati back as well. ...and uses it to spawn shadow versions of Link. Sensing there's evil afoot, Zelda gathers real Link and the six shrine maidens to check on Vati's seal. But the maidens and Zelda are swept away upon entering the elemental sanctuary, which is still there after all this time, even though the Temple of Time crumbled after only a few decades. All alone... That <laughs> crumbled after a few decades? Mate, we've got castles in the UK that lasted longer than that. Jesus Christ. My house... Lasts longer than that, bro. Link draws the four sword, creating four new friends, and oops, releasing Vati. Several shrine oh, maiden rescues idiots. later, the links head to the Tower of Winds, save Zelda, and destroy both Vati and the tower for good. They then defeat the now demonized Ganon and seal him in the four sword, which is said to stop sealing them in swords. It doesn't. This is not. This is not going well. Stop sealing them in forwards. Swords. Just, there's there's got to be something else. You, you can seal them in like a dildo or something, and then it'll be the fine. Elemental sanctuary. And that's just one branch of this whole timeline. Rewind to the adult era. The Hero of Winds. Okay, so now we're in the adult era. So this is completely new. This is if he didn't go back. In, no, this is if he did get sent back in time. So there's no more Link, at least not currently. But in the future, there could be another generational born Link. In a new world. Adult era. Link and Zelda defeat Ganon, and the Seven yep. Sages seal him away in the corrupted yep. sacred realm. Triforce okay. of power and all. Zelda sends Got Link it. back to his own time, where all the Majora's Mask stuff goes down. So yes. let's explore the post-Ocarina of Time story that Link no longer exists in. Zelda returns the Master Sword to its pedestal and closes the door of time, so the sacred realm could never be reopened. The story of the Hero of Time becomes legend, much to the hero's own jealousy, I'm sure. Many years later, era without a hero. Oh, that's right, because when he gets sent back in time, no one thinks he's a hero. But in that timeline, he is a hero, so he doesn't get any of the clout points. Oh no, he doesn't get any of the TikTok followers. That's so Eventually, sad. Eventually, Ganondorf's seal begins to weaken. He escapes, plunging Hyrule into- Eventually, the seal begins to weaken. Stop stealing them, man. <laughs> Everyone prays the hero will save them, but he never appears. Apparently, not bothering to explore other options, the king of Hyrule, Daphnis, entrusts his kingdom to the gods in des- They called the king Daphnis? Like, like Daft, as in he's stupid? Is that really- Ration. Okay. The gods tell certain citizens to escape to the tallest mountains. A torrential rain then floods the world, plunging Ganondorf, King Daphnis, and Hyrule itself to the bottom of the ocean and sealing them away. Princess For Zelda 40 days. Escapes. And 40 with nights. the retainers and a fragment of the king's Triforce of Wisdom. Hundreds of years later, era of the Great Sea, the Wind Waker. Let's check in on how this drastic landscape shift affected evolution. The Kokiri have become cute plant-like creatures called Koroks. The Zora Didn't slowly they used to be like bird-like like beaks and became the Rito, moving gracefully from water to air. The Gorons are still Gorons. Why mess with perfection? Anywho, True. Ganon escapes his watery grave and kills the two sages, who'd been praying for evil repelling powers to return to the Master Sword. He then searches for Princess Zelda and the Triforce of Courage by kidnapping any girl with pointy ears. The gods <laughs> <laughs> King Daphnis and wow, him okay, to good job, dude. Ganondorf. Daphnis channels his spirit through a slick red boat and discovers Link freshly kicked out of Ganondorf's fortress in an attempt to rescue his sister. Daphnis doesn't know he's the Link yet, but he's wearing the right getup. Link's actually embarrassed about the outfit. The birthday boy was forced to wear it to honor the hero of time. With the what a coincidence that these. Links always end up wearing green all the time. Occasional help of Tetra, the sassy pirate. Link raises the Tower of the Gods and descends into Hyrule to retrieve the Master Sword. He goes. I swear to God, if they seal Ganondorf in that fucking sword. Ganondorf again, except darn, the Master Sword's powerless. Daphnis reveals ah, that he's more than a talking boat. And surprise, Tetra is the descendant of Princess Zelda. Link awakens two new sages to repower the Master Sword. Also, the Triforce of Courage was shattered into eight pieces when the Hero of Time was Ocarina. 
Enid back to his original era, so Link has to gather that, too. Armed with the classic wares, Link goes to kick Ganondorf's butt, only to find Zelda has been kidnapped. With the three pieces of the Triforce reunited, uh -oh. Ganondorf is about to win when Daphnis uh -oh. appears out of nowhere, grabs the Triforce, and wishes for Hyrule to be washed away in exchange for a brighter future. Dram Damn, he just instant transmissioned right in there and like clapped everyone's cheeks? Damn. Damn it, right? Link's Master Sword and Zelda's Light Arrows turn Ganondorf to stone. Ganondorf, Hyrule, and by his own volition, King Daphnis are washed away for good, officially ending Hyrule and the struggle for the Triforce. Oh my god. I guess that's one way to do it. If the curse is to eternally reincarnate people over and over and over again to fight this battle over and over and over again, just blow up the world. Just nuke the entire thing. Just start over. That's I, I rate that. Good idea. A few months later, Era of the Great Voyage, Phantom Hourglass. With their Isn't epic dead? quest of destiny fulfilled, Link, Zelda, ahem, ahem, excuse me, Tetra, and the pirates set off in search of a new world. All the islands are perfectly fine, but whatever. A few months in... Yeah, I thought this thing whole got washed away, but we're we just not... Rolling with that they go now. to investigate the ghost ship in waters ruled by the Ocean King. Tetra jumps aboard and gets kidnapped again, <laughs> and Link is hurled onto a strange island. For Come the record, on, man. The Ocean King's waters are in a different dimension, created by the gods who created Hyrule. There's also still Gorons. Gorons are a freaking force of nature. Okay, so we're Link in a different dimension some now. Spirits and gets a cool phantom sword. He defeats the ghost baddie and returns to his dimension with Tetra, where dun dun dun, only ten minutes have passed. Spirit what? tracks. <gasps> so, oh, after what? After the longest ten minutes of their lives. Lives, their voyage continues. At last, they land on a new continent. It already has the spirit tank. <gasps> they go to America! Where the demon king Maladus was sealed by the gods a really long time ago. Not Demise. He's dead in the Master Sword, remember? The tower... He's still in the mass. Well, he's dead in the Master Sword. If he's dead in the Master Sword, is he really in the Master Sword? He's connected to four temples by a train whose spirit tracks maintain the seal. Neat. Tetra founds new high. Do we have a different demon king now? Green uniforms in honor of her BFF, the Hero of Winds. 100 years later, era of Hyrule's rebirth. Just so Hey, Hyrule's gonna come back. Wait, no, if Hyrule comes back, then Ganondorf is gonna come back. Maybe this is not a good idea, We're fellas. On the same page. This next Zelda is Tetra's great great granddaughter, but Nico, okay. one of Tetra's pirates, is still alive. I don't understand this. An old as dick, apparently. He must be part Goron or something. The spirit tracks are disappearing, so Zelda recruits Link, a royal engineer who lives with Nico and is the spitting image of the Hero of Winds. They head to the spirit tower, but Chancellor Cole is plotting to resurrect Maladus. He and his cohort. Oh Zelda's no! Don't do that. Her body. Link and Spirit Zelda eventually ascend the spirit tower, find Maladus fully resurrected, and defeat him in the Dark Realm. Zelda gets hey. her body back, and the tribe, who'd been safeguarding the temple, decides their duty is complete. They return to the heavens, entrusting new Hyrule to Zelda and company. And... Uh-oh, not new Hyrule. I know exactly what's gonna happen here. That's all for the adult era. Okay. Oh, okay. So I guess new Hyrule is just, it's just fine. It's just good now. They just live happily ever after, new Hyrule. Rewind. Awesome. The decline of Hyrule and the last hero, fallen hero timeline. The adult okay. and child eras happen if Link beats Ganondorf in their mano a mano match. The third what timeline he follows a darker possibility. Now, picture this. Ganondorf actually defeats Link. He obtains the remaining two pieces of the Triforce from Link and Zelda and transforms into Demon King Ganon. The Seven Sages oh, steal shit. Demon Ganon and the full Triforce away in the Sacred Realm. Peace briefly returns, but people now know about the Triforce and the entrance to the Sacred Realm. No one puts the Master Sword back in this timeline, but the realm has been transformed into the Dark World by Ganon's evil heart. So any and all who enter are turned into monsters and conscripted into Ganon's army. Eventually, there are so many monsters that they spill into Hyrule. The King orders the Seven Sages to seal the once sacred realm entirely. They succeed, but only after most of the Hylian Knights are killed. The so Ganondorf is completely taken over the sacred realm. He's like, yo, I got the Triforce, ends. boys. But it leaves Hyrule in shambles, and the goddess-infused bloodline of the Hylians and the power of the Sages begins to weaken the era of uh -oh. light and dark, linked to the past. Despite this bleakness, uneventfulness reigns until a magical priest named Aghanim wants to break the seal. He brainwashes soldiers, kills the king, and sacrifices the descendants of the seven sages, sending them into the dark world. Zelda, Jesus the Christ, last what to be sacrificed, emits a telepathic help plea and is heard by Link and his uncle, the last surviving knights of Hyrule. Except Link's uncle is killed immediately upon entering the castle. So <laughs> El Bozo, Link should have fought Zelda better. To safety. He finds the Master Sword, surrounded by the lost woods now. 
Aghanim discovers Zelda's hideout and sends her to the Dark World, officially breaking the sage's seal. Link heads there as oh, well, but damn. instead of transforming into a demon, he becomes a pink bunny. Link rescues what? the descendants, defeats Aghanim and Ganon, and finds the Triforce. He uses it to wish for peace to be restored, thereby resurrecting the king and his uncle, and hands it to the royal family. To be honest, in that situation, it would be much better idea to just wish for the curse to be broken, because if you wish for peace to be restored, then you're just gonna end up having the same thing. Thing happen again. A few years later, Link's awakening. Link starts to feel restless in this post Ganon tranquility, so he goes on a sailing trip to seek more training. On his return trip to Hyrule, an intense storm strikes and busts his tiny ship. Link washes oh, ashore damn. on the island Koholan. Link discovers the only way to leave the island is to wake the Windfish, but also that the island merely exists as the Windfish's dream. He wakes him up what? anyway, and so Hyrule's hero becomes responsible for annihilating a dream island. Month Wait, why did he, what did he do that for? <laughs> Why did just because he wanted to go home? I guess. It's later. Oh, of seasons. Ages. Oh, this is the game I played. Okay, okay, I'm excited because I, I never understood the story of this game. Here we go. As Link returns uh. to Hyrule, hopefully with a heavy conscience, the twin witches, Twin Rova, need some special flames to resurrect Ganon. So they send Onyx oh, to Drum and Varen to Labrina to wreak havoc. Link is back yeah, to the castle those. by the Triforce, and it transports him to Hollow Drum. He befriends Din the Dancer, aka. Oh, I mean, the Oracle yeah, of that's cool. Onyx kidnaps her, throwing Hollow Drum seasons into chaos. But Link defeats Onyx and moves on to Labrina. After a nice. cameo from an amply bosomed Impa, Varen possesses Nehru, the Oracle of Ages. I I remember that. He uses Nehru's time-traveling ability to go to the past, possess the queen, and build an ominous tower. But Link... Oh, this time travel shit was so annoying because I had no idea what to do. It's Varen, and everything goes back to normal. Notice these oracles are named after the goddesses, and the Triforce itself put Link up to this. Coincidence? Probably not. Regardless. Oh, okay. It's, it's kind of coming Link's together a little bit. The flames of destruction and despair have been lit. Twin Rova kidnaps Zelda as the sacrifice to ignite the final flame. Naturally, Link and bring intervenes back and kills Twin Rova, who sacrificed nice. themselves to resurrect Ganon. But because the ritual was incomplete, Ganon comes back as a burly dummy and is easily bested. Centuries nice! Later, a link he doesn't come back properly, so he gets sealed again. Psh, nice. Easy claps, boys. Clean worlds. As a centuries later, so everything was pretty good for hundreds of years. Nice. At some point, the Triforce is split apart. The Triforce of Power goes to Ganon, who's sealed away in the Dark World, and apparently mm -hmm. not dead. It makes sense if the Sages sealed burly dummy Ganon, but anyway, centuries after Island Killer Link's deeds, the wizard Yuga shows up and turns all. I think the all one the that was brought back Sages. since the ritual wasn't complete is only like a portion of him. So like, you kill a portion of him, you maybe weaken him a little bit, but you don't kill him outright. Ages into paintings, including. Zelda. He uses their power to release Ganon, and the two baddies become- Oh god, yeah, he's so ugly! Someone. Hyrule and Yuga's world, Low Rule, are thrown into chaos. Oh, Link, that's bad. The blacksmith's apprentice has been hot on Yuga's tail. He rescues the seven sages at the behest of Low Rule's princess, Hilda. Only this whole scheme was Hilda's. You see, <gasps> Low Rule no. once had its own Triforce. Hilda's ancestors noticed its existence constantly caused wars, so they destroyed it. But that made- to be fair, that's like actually a pretty good take to have right there. A permanently dreary land of monsters and darkness. Undistracted. Uh, well, you could make your land a permanently dreary world of monsters and darkness, but I mean, that, that, the idea behind it was pretty solid. By sad tales, Link defeats Yuga and makes Hilda realize she's been a jerk. Hilda returns Link and Zelda to Hyrule's sacred realm, where they find the Triforce whole again. Link. Wait, isn't the Sacred Realm where Ganondorf was sealed? Which is for the restoration. He, he got released, actually, so it doesn't matter anymore. Low Rules Triforce. A few years later. Okay, uh, so what happened to the. Did I miss what happened to the. I think I missed what happened to the Ganon there. Force Heroes. Link decides to check out Hytopia, an incredibly fashion-conscious kingdom. His visit coincides with a dramatic situation, wherein the princess, Styla, was cursed by a witch to wear a dreadful brown jumpsuit. More. Is this real? Is this like actually lore? Because it's canon. Fortified. Styla locks herself away in a room and everyone is sad. Yes, what? this is real. And yes, what? this is canon. Link. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Link and two other Link like lads are recruited by the king to venture to the witch's lair. They undo the curse and Hytopia is blessed with everlasting <laughs> peace and style. Golden era. Ever since the royal family regained <laughs> okay, the full cool. Triforce, they used its power to make Hyrule expand and flourish. Boring. Era of decline. 
The Adventure of Link. Eventually, One King decides to shake things up when he realizes the Triforce could feasibly be abused. He hides the Triforce of Courage away in a place only accessible with his spell's special crest. He only tells Princess Zelda because he doesn't trust her brother. And for good reason! When the king dies, the brother realizes he doesn't have the full Triforce and gets upset. His wizard friend interrogates Zelda, who stays quiet. The wizard loses his temper and casts a spell on her to sleep forevermore. Until love's true kiss. Okay, he what? doesn't say that. What? Well, what's the point Zelda in this? Make put her to sleep? <laughs> what the hell is the point? Brother King is filled with grief and regret. To honor his sister, he decrees that all future royal females be named Zelda. Clearly, there's okay, already been sure. tons of Zeldas. Like, I mean, that was going to happen anyway because there's a literal curse that's going to make it happen and then there's video games to make. It's The series is called Legend of Zelda. He should have known that. He should, was he not played the games before? Or was he dumb? Royal family. Maybe there were some Tiffany's or Rapunzel's along the way, so he just wanted to set the tradition in stone. Despite the king's best efforts, Hyrule declines. With no one wielding the full Triforce, the kingdom shrinks to a tiny fraction of its former glory and becomes known as Lesser Hyrule. Generations Damn. later, The Legend of Zelda. Who should be resurrected? Okay, I, so it's it's not as poggers now, but that's fine, right? Like, it doesn't have to be. Dummy Beast Ganon. He has no vestige of Ganondorfy intelligence, but his army can still invade Hyrule and steal the Triforce of Power. The reigning Princess Zelda divides the Triforce of Wisdom into eight pieces and hides them throughout the kingdom. Ganon finds out and captures Zelda, but Impa flees with her orders from Zelda to find a hero. Just as demons catch up with her, a young out-of-town traveler appears. Impa explains her plight, and Link agrees to take on the quest. This guy, by the way, is likely a descendant of Island Killer Link, and no, I haven't let it go. You can guess what happens. Link gathers the Triforce of Wisdom and uses it to beat Ganon. The Adventure of Link. Pretty straightforward. Link hangs Hyrule to help rebuild, but Ganon's cronies recoup and everything is torn up again. There's a rumor that Ganon again. was resurrected by sacrificing Link and sprinkling his blood over Ganon's ashes. Six what? years after he beat down Ganon, No, Link wait, what? they don't have his ashes? What, what do you mean his ashes? Where, where, does, where do you get those ashes from? A weird mark on his hand and asks Impa about it. Impa takes him to Princess Zelda, the first's sleeping chamber. Well, is she still fucking asleep, dude? Lazy she's ass. She's not the first, but the first her brother. Okay, you know what I mean. Turns out, Impa's line of nursemaids were the only ones who knew about it. Link can unseal the door with his crest, so Impa gives him a scroll made by the last great king. His crest enables him to read the scroll, and golly, it's a map to the Triforce of Courage. Link sets Whoa. out, gets it, and uses its power to awaken sleeping Zelda. For some Yay. reason, this all means Ganon can't be resurrected. Maybe Link's too powerful for the dummy beast's dummies now. And so, peace and the full Triforce was restored to Hyrule. The end. For the Let's third go. Time. Oh, least, I think so. We still we have did to it. address the timeline's richest mystery, Breath of the Wild. It's the only oh. game not prescribed a spot on the timeline, Nintendo's purposefully leaving it to interpretation. We do know Breath of the Wild comes- Breath of the Wild. Okay, there was a game that was basically Breath of the Wild, like back in the original timeline, I think. You could put this, this is, honestly, this is just after like Ganondorf wins, right? Like Ganondorf takes off all of Hyrule, so you'd put it in like the hero is defeated area because he could be defeated and then he rests for hundreds of years, gets revitalized and then comes back and then Zelda's like, hey, you need to help everyone. Come on, you gotta do it. So you probably put it on like, in, in like the left timeline, right? Like just at the start of the left timeline, maybe? After, way after. Maybe so far in the future that it's the conclusion of all three timelines. We also oh, have evidence okay. for individual lines in Breath of the Wild. It's explicitly said that the Zora princess Ruto awakened as a sage, which only happens in the adult and fallen hero timelines. And there are the Koroks and the Rito, a strong case for the adult timeline. Except there's also Zoras? Then again, the villain isn't Ganondorf, but the demonized Ganon, an argument for the fallen hero timeline. Maybe at some point the timelines reconnect converged, courtesy of the mighty wizard Aonuma. Regardless, here's the possible end to the legend. 10,000 years before Breath of the Wild. Ganon oh, shit. is about to burst his seal again. To fight him, Zelda oversees the construction of autonomous guardians and four divine beasts, championed by chosen That's warriors pretty sick. Like Zora, Rito, Gerudo, and Goron. With the additional aid of the hero, Ganon is thoroughly overwhelmed and sealed once more. Why don't they just kill him? Seriously. Yeah, they keep sealing this dude. It clearly doesn't work. Because he'll just be resurrected again. Okay, okay. These machines lay forgotten for thousands of years until excavations unearth them just as Calamity Ganon began begins stirring again. Now, Zelda reactivates the Guardians and chooses four new champions. But when Calamity Ganon attacks, There's he five overrides there. control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. Hyrule was losing. Link's nearly killed in the conflict. Zelda brings him to the Shrine of Resurrection to save his life. Then, she heads back to the castle alone to seal Ganon herself. 100 oh, years that's later, pretty epic. Breath of the Wild. 
When Link wakes up- 100 years? Dude, imagine standing there just like, I'll steal you for a hundred goddamn years. He has amnesia, but looks incredibly good for his age. The same cannot be said of Hyrule. Zelda's seal is still saving everyone from the worst of Ganon's power, but keeping that up for 100 years is Bro, saving everyone, there's nobody there. <laughs> easy. After getting a handy parasail from the king's ghost, Link finds Impa, who imparts Zelda's final message, free the four divine beasts. Long story short, Link frees the beasts and the spirit of the champions trapped within. He also regains some memories and finds the master sword in the Lost Woods, where Zelda had left it under the protection of the Great Deku Tree. Team Dude, Zelda's kind of hard carrying this. I'm not gonna lie. Zelda is usually not so pog in the other timelines, but like Zelda is so hard carrying this. It's not even funny. Like Link needs to step up a little bit. Defeats Calamity Ganon. One's left with the impression that this time it's for actual non-resurrecting good. At least Yay! until the next Zelda game. We oh. did it. I yeah, there's gonna be, there's a Breath of the Wild too. He's probably gonna come back to be honest, but I think I, I kind of understand it more. I, I understand this more. That, that, that kind of makes sense, even though I feel like they were just making it up as they go along the entire time. But you know, that makes a lot more sense now. That, and, and maybe I actually will play Breath of the Wild so I can watch Zelda hard carry everything. But if you haven't, make sure that you subscribe to more powers already. And also make sure that you subscribe to our main channel because we stream on there every single day at 4 p.m. UK time. I'll see you there. Bye.